As I watch the sun descending And the birds fly home to rest In the hush when day is ending That's the hour when I feel blessed Smoking my pipe Smoking my pipe Like a whisper through the cornfield Comes a gentle evening breeze At the doorway of my cottage I recall old memories Smoking my pipe Smoking my pipe Hello brothers and sisters of the Briar, Professor Jeremiah here and welcome to day 17 of 31 Pipes 31 tobaccos in 31 days. We've made it. We're just past the halfway point. I think some of you may have been sweating it out yesterday as to whether I was actually going to get a post up or not. Uh, it was just running a little late and hopefully this one will get up in time for you as well. So it was bound to happen. I had to pull this pipe out. This is one of my more favorite pipes definitely in my top 10 maybe my top five of all the pipes which I have. This is none other than a Sir Jacopo. I, I just, I really love this bowl. Uh, it's uh, the shape of it, the design of it. It, it smokes very smooth. Uh, I will tell you, I did have a little trouble with the connection here with the bamboo and the shank. And it did go back to the factory. They still really did not resolve it, though they had a heart and an intent to do that. Uh, I ended up having to fix it myself, and since that time, it's it's been fine. Um, you know, it's just one of those things. But despite the problems, I still love this pipe. If I saw another one like this, would I buy it? Absolutely. I bought this bowl of International Pipe Smoking Day back in 2016. So I've had it a little while, kicked it around the block a few times. Uh, you may have seen me smoking this pipe on the streets of Paris. Uh, it, it traveled with me and I had the same blend in it then as I do today. So what would I be smoking in this? Well, I'm going to really like this while you ponder, what does a professor smoke in his Sir Jacopo? <laughs> Well, and a pipe so wonderful, it must be a wonderful tobacco. One of the words used to describe this particular tobacco is sugar cookies. No, it's not vanilla custard because this one also says a thin note of vanilla. So it's not my vanilla custard, but it is none other than Cade's Cove Cavendish. And I hope you can see that label here. This is my own label. This is from the Gatlin Burlier in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. The Gatlin Burlier you find uh, on the River Riverwalk Mall, I believe, or River Run Mall. Uh, River Mall. <laughs> but it's uh, almost right at the head of what's well, sort of the main drag in Gatlinburg. And I'm not sure which floor. It might be the second uh, floor of the mall, but they apparently still allow smoking in there. They did at least the last time I was in there. I believe that was 2016 as well. And uh, it's it's a wonderful little place to go to. Nice, nice shop, wonderful people. Uh, if you order some of this, wait till late afternoon tomorrow because my jar is about empty. <laughs> so I gotta put an order too. I hope there's not a run on this blend. It's a, it's a wonderful blend. I, I won't read to you what I wrote on here. It says, The thin note of vanilla, brown sugar, sugar cookies, and general sweet baked goods. Translated into the flavor with no bite. <laughs> it's pretty accurate. It's a very sweet blend. Uh, if you... Are, and this is a big transition from my Latakia Orientals uh, that we've been covering the past few days. But it is a wonderful blend. I, I really enjoy it uh, for many a Sundays. This is a Sunday afternoon smoke for me.
I have two other Suryakapos, both of which are dedicated to my Cates Cove Cavendish blend. It's all I've smoked in those uh, since day one of having them. Mm -hmm. It's very smooth, uh, sweet, sweet. It, it, it's the way it tastes in the uh, bowl of the pipe is the way it smells in the jar. And I will uh, tell you somebody recently who had picked up some for me. They were on a trip up to Gatlinburg before the world fell apart. And I asked them, hey, would you pick up uh, a, a pound of this for me? Yes, I got a whole pound of it. Now this is all I got left. But I did give some away. There's a few of you out there who got some from me. But when they came back, as they were giving it to me, they said, oh, we've had it in our car this whole trip. I want to have some just to have that smell in the car. It's so wonderful. They didn't want to give it up to me. They wanted to keep it as an air freshener. Uh, it, it, it is that amazing. So try some if you haven't. Kate's Cove Cavendish from the Gatlin Burlier in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. A wonderful blend. For those of you who know Doc Hatfield, uh, he is a frequent visitor uh, of the Gatlin Burlier. Uh, they may even have a wanted poster out for him. But it, <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, today's uh, pint and today's blend. Till tomorrow, God bless. Crossroads. You're at the crossroads.